I'm Lila. This is going to be a belly dance warm up today just because you need to get warm all the time. And it's not just for belly dancing, this is for every sort of fitness or every sort of dance you want to go through. This is a really nice way to stretch out the body and warm it at the same time. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions at the end. You can put it to your own music, okay? Because I know you probably might not like mine or the sound might come wrong. Just put your music on so you can really just enjoy. Okay, cool, we're gonna start with our knees nice and soft. It's gonna be five minutes long. I've already spoken in a minute. I've spoken a minute, so we're gonna start from right now. I'm timing this. Okay, shoulders roll. Two, three, we're also playing. Take it forward. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna take it single, single, single. Up, and the other way. And up. Take it to a wide step, side, side, side. So pushing into that right or left for you. Side of the twist, twist, stretch. Stretch out into the hips, you can feel it in the glutes, and all the way out. So we've got a nice rounding here, rounding here. We're gonna take them to a circle, circle. Two, really warming up the hips. Two more, and the other side. You wanna keep those hips nice and warm so you can have any weird cracks when you're done. Or running, doesn't really matter. Oof. And hold it there. Okay, we're gonna take it all the way down. Shoulders down. So we're gonna get our knees involved. One, we're gonna take it all the way up. Trying to keep those hands nice and close to your ears. Two more. You're gonna feel that really warm up for you a bit, warm up a bit because your legs are involved now. Once your legs are moving, your body's warming. And hold it there. We've got reach, reach, reach. So you're squeezing into your sides. You're also working a little bit of the neck if you're looking up a bit, not too high. And one, hold it there. Reach all the way. Take it all the way back. Fold all over your shoulders. And take it up. So you've got a big circle. Release. So we're contracting the back up. Release. Exhale on the down. And hold it down. We're going to pulse and stretch the back of the legs. And stretch the back of the legs. Stretch. Stretch. Hold it here. Take it to one side. Hold the foot if you can over the leg. And then stretch, opening up to the side. So you've got a really nice stretch in the back and back of the legs. And take it to the other side. Reach. We're going to keep it quite nice and dynamic because we're not really hot yet. And it's always better, I feel, personally, to do your nice um, static stretches at the end of a workout rather than the beginning. But I guess that's up to preference and... There's all sorts of research about everything. Okay, we're gonna take it forward. One, two, open up the knees, push out. You probably look crazy right now. And one, two, open up the knees, push out. And again. <laughs> open up, push out. One more time. Open up, push out. Okay, you might wanna hold it either like this, however it's comfortable. People feel this stretch in different ways. If you prefer to push one side, and that's great, you're really opening up the hips here. On the other, just make sure you can completely feel it. And then middle, and then rips, and then second. So we've got side, side, middle, release. Side, side, middle, release one more time. Release. Once you're here, we're going to walk these feet out together. So we're going to take them right behind us. Switching knee to knee. So, looking here. You're walking out your feet. Your heels are trying to get to the floor. So you're going to feel that really nice stretch in the calf muscle. You can isolate one side if you feel like it needs more attention. Or take it the other way. My hands are slipping. But you can also push down here so you've got a really nice stretch in the shoulders. And then we're going to take it down and lift up. So you've got 
a really nice stretch. I hope you can still see me inside your core. And then you can lift it back. And then you take it through the arms, reach out. Perfect. One more time. Sit back. And take it all the way through. Now it's a really nice time to your head exercises. So you look to one side and take it to the centre. And look to the other side and take it to the centre. Side, 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 side. Take it down, up a little bit. And up, sink it back. Hands together, toes in. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Release very slowly. You can shake out those knees if you want a little bit. And take it up. Two, three, four. Okay, we've gone 10 seconds over. <laughs> but that's basically it. After that, you can shimmy. So this is going to start you getting the sweat. That's if you're belly dancing. Otherwise, if you're not, then you're going to want to go into another section of stretches, which would be your arms. If you can, I'm going over. <laughs> but basically, what I just did is giving you a little bit of stretch. It definitely works more in the legs. So if you need some more arm stretch time, definitely go into that and then start your shimmies or your run or wherever you need to go. Okay. Leave me any questions if you need any, if you need any help with the exercises, or if there's something you can see, or if there's something you want me to specifically talk about. Um, I'm Lila, you can subscribe and enjoy watching my channel.